Good morning guys, it is Monday, it's around midday I think, just waiting around for my mum and dad to pick me up. If you watched last week's vlog you will know that we are heading to London this week so I've just finished packing, just put my face on for the day, done my hair but it looks a little bit wayward. I slept on it last night <laughs> um, and I, usually when I do my hair I straighten it first then curl it but I just curled it because I haven't got time so um, it looks big and messy but I'll sort that out when we get there. So yeah I thought I'd just start the vlog here, heading to London, I think we're heading to Brighton one day, I know we're going to Kew Gardens but other than that it's kind of like open-ended, I don't really know what we're doing so um, yeah I'm really looking forward to it. I've gone for super simple makeup just because I'm going to be in the car most of the day but I just wanted to mention that this little lip, lip combo that I reach for, got drawers full of lipstick and lip liners but I always find myself reaching for these two. They're incredible. If you're after a nude lip combo with a hint of pink this is the one. So this it's the NARS Precision Lip Liner in Morocco. I wear this almost every day and I still haven't run out and um, so that just shows how good it is and then I don't know what these are called. It's a NARS Afterglow Lip Balm and this is in Dolce Vita. I absolutely adore this shade. I've hardly got any left. That's it fully wound up but it's just such a nice gloss and I find them really natural. I've got a darker one as well which is, I never wear it, this is a soft matte tinted lip balm and this is in Touch Me. I think this is like a purpley, yeah. Don't know whether it's as nice, I'm maybe like in the autumn but um, yeah if you're after a good new lipstick then definitely try the Afterglow balms, they're so nice. Am I the world's worst YouTuber or am I the world's worst YouTuber? I hardly filmed anything while we were away in London and I'm regretting it because this vlog was going to be basically my trip there. I can't make any excuses. I just was in the moment and I just completely forgot to whip the camera out if I'm honest. So that is why I haven't got much content. We stayed in Hackney Wick, we stayed at my brother's house, we did so much walking. We went to Kew Gardens which was absolutely incredible. If you are visiting London, highly recommend it. That's just, it blew my mind. So, so good. Um, and then we went, what did we do on the second day? Oh, we went to Camden, which is always good for people watching. <laughs> Some really nice um, markets, they've got like the stables. To look round which is really nice it's full of food definitely head down uh, to this old stables they've got tons of different like cuisines and stuff um, and then on the third day we drove to brighton and did the lanes which was so good i really want to go back there it was really good for shopping um but as you can probably tell i got no footage at all because i was in the moment it is my holiday this year i'm not booking to go away anywhere so uh, 
I was just making the most of it and I'm sure you will understand that. It's a new week, it is Monday. I've just come up to the bathroom to get ready for the day. I can't really be bothered to put a full face of makeup on because I'm literally just doing emails, nipping out. I've got to do some food shopping. I've got to paint our pergola in the garden. Um, and then Paul's had a cancellation at work. So he's going to come back early and we're going to get the patio sorted down the bottom. I've actually got a new skincare routine, which I've been trying out. And I've really been enjoying it. Obviously, I am 31, so things are going a little bit south. <laughs> and things starting to get a little bit wrinkly. So I am trying my absolute hardest to make a conscious effort to do my skincare every morning and evening, which I've usually been pretty good at anyway, but I switched up my morning routine slightly. I was using the Wild Mint Cosmetics products, which I still am. I'm sort of interchanging when I'm trying new stuff. I always go back to them and I love them. And I'm using them in my new routine anyway, so. I will always repurchase Wild Mint Cosmetics because they just work really well for my skin. I was sent a little package from Bondi Sand Skincare and I didn't realise they did skincare, I just thought it was tan. Um, I've never tried their actual tan. If you guys have, let me know because I am after a new tan. I've run out of my Australian Glow, which I probably will repurchase because I absolutely love it. But yeah, off on a tangent. Bondi Sands sent me some of their skincare, so I've been, I took it away with me. Um, and I've been testing it out for probably two weeks now, two to three weeks. I really like it. It's only three products. Um, there's a serum, a moisturiser and a face mask. So I've got myself a little bit of a routine going with my morning skincare. So the first thing I do is wash my face. Then I will spray the Wild Mint Citrus Splash as my toner, which you guys know I love. On top of that, I will use the Bondi Sands Golden Hour and this is the Brightening Vitamin C Serum. It's a little bit mucky around the top. It's kind of like, it's coloured, so I don't know whether this has got a bit of a tan in it. Not 100% sure. It doesn't look like it because my face is quite pale compared to my body. But um, yeah, I love this, it's really nice. I use that every morning. But following the um, vitamin C serum, I've been using the Bondi Sands Daydream Cream. This is so nice, it's really lightweight and it goes, it sits really nicely underneath makeup. Um, it's their whipped moisturiser with desert lime extract. It's really, really nice. If, you've, if you haven't tried their skincare and you're on the market for some new skincare, then um, definitely give it a go. After that, I use my Bright Eyes eye cream from Wild Mint. Then, <laughs> it's quite lengthy, but it's worth it because my skin feels so soft and amazing. Oh, my SPF. So I just use the La Roche-Posay Anthelios, I think it's called, 50+. plus. 50 i use this all the time it's so good if you've got dry skin this is awesome because it leaves like a bit of a glow I don't know if you can tell it's quite um shiny if you're oily i'd steer away from this um i think they do a matte one then without fail i use my dr lip original nipple balm for lips so hydrating if you struggle with dry chap lips definitely try this i bought another one in space nk the other day um and they were it was 12 pound which was ridiculous but i was running low on it so I had no choice, but you can sometimes get it in TK Maxx for around like three or four pound. Nor my bathroom wall, it needs repainting. Um, is that it? That's it for face. And then I just make sure every morning I'm using a Fact 50 on the backs of my hands. And when I'm driving as well. So this is the anti-age Nivea Sun Fact 50. I just whack that on the backs of my hands. When we painted this, it was just out of a tester pot. When we moved in, it was like hanging out of this bathroom. It was disgusting. So we had to rip it all out, like on the first day. Toilet didn't flush, the bath didn't work, and there was no water. So we had to rip it all out and put a bathroom in really quick. And I only bought a tester pot, and it, it did manage to go around this wall and the other wall, but it, was, it wasn't proper bathroom paint. So as you can see, when it gets, uh, really like when it gets like full of condensation in here it just drips down the walls so i need to paint this um at some stage i think i'm going to do like a dark mossy green if i can find a proper bathroom paint in that color i think it'll look quite nice because we've got the subway tiles and i think the green will look i love the green against them with like the monstera look at this leaf i might just cut it off um, but other than that, it's doing really well, the old monstie. Look at it. <laughs> I've trained it up over the mirror. Um, but yeah, 
I need to paint this pretty desperately and my picture fell off the wall and you can just see all of the condensation marks so really bad it still needs grouting as well up here mm. been a while since I've been in the garden. I've done a load of potting up. I've painted the bottoms of the pergola grey to match the shed. Um, I haven't done it all just because Paul bought the whacker plate home. Snorry dog. Um, so we just need to get the bottom painted so it was kind of at like patio level. It's so hot out there and I don't want to be painting in the heat because my scalp will burn. <laughs> Why do I look so pale? better as my normal skin colour um, and I've just set the table up outside because I'm doing some product shoots for Kate's Potting Shed over on Etsy. I've just shot my matches and I'm just doing a few of the pressed flower frames so yeah I've got a really nice little tablescape going. These are the um, matches. This is just like a sample box so it's a bit grubby. It's got like match stains on it. Um, but I've got all my cabbage pottery out and some little bud vases and napkins and stuff and then it's one of the pressed flower frames I'm doing there's so many, there seems to be so many buttercups about at the moment love all the grasses as well, they're so nice I've got a bit limp out here, I could probably do with the they've been in the vase for a few days so I could do with changing those but yeah that's what I've been doing I need to take my hair down because I've just lay on the grass on my back with my knees <laughs> bent to either side just to stretch the bottom of my back and it's just full of grass um, so yeah that's what I've done I've, the table's all set up I'm going to take it down now because I don't think we'll be eating outside tonight and uh, we did have our lunch out there we had scrambled eggs and it was epic I put turmeric in there and we zoomed in there we go. It was so nice. I will pop a picture up on here. So for the rest of the day, I'm just going to be tidying up the garden, putting stuff away. Good morning guys, it is Tuesday today. I'm so bad with days, I don't know why. I just have a mind blank every time I turn the camera on. I'm off to get my hair done this morning. I've just done a little bit of pottering in, in the garden. Excuse the washing machine. Um, and pick some sweet peas. The more you pick them, the more will come. So I've just been trying to keep on top of them. And I've been putting them up on my bedside table and they smell so nice. So I've just been doing a little bit of that, tidying up in the garden and I'm going to head off to the hairdressers. I've got no mascara on because I'm having a lash lift and tint as well. Um, so it's, what time is it? Oh god I need to leave. 25 to 8, my appointment is at 9. is the new do. I've literally just had my blonde moved up 
um, I get balayage. So just had it moved up to the top and then oh, take my sweaty sunnies off. Um, my eyelash lift as well, which I'm loving. It actually looks like I've got extensions. That is what they look like. I absolutely love them. If I could get them every week, I would. <laughs> My last, the first set I ever had lasted around like two weeks, so I'm hoping this one lasts a bit longer. She said it would, um, so yeah, fingers crossed it will last quite a while, but it just saves me putting mascara on and curling them and stuff every morning, so that is the lash lift, the new hair. I was, I've been in there all day. I got there at nine, it's now two o'clock. The lash lift took about three quarters of an hour to an hour, and then my hair takes for ages, so uh, I've been in there all day and we were doing some reels and stuff for my hairdresser um but yeah i've had quite a bit taken off it was like down here my hair so i thought for the summer we'd go i was gonna go full bob again but i chickened out <laughs> but it just feels so much lighter and healthier and i can still tie it up so yeah nice morning nice to have a pamper i walk there and back and i'm sweating it's so warm today i think it's like 25 lovely outside i snuck, i stopped at sainsbury's because i want to make something nice for tea i got a whole chicken which i'm going to roast um it was a res it was a recipe i found online um it's like a roast chicken how many times do i say um i'm sorry if it's really annoying it's roast chicken with a dill and feta and orzo salad i think it's dill and feta that's what i bought anyway <laughs> Fingers crossed it is. I think you like you you use lemons and stuff in it. So I was just I was just going to do that for tea because it's far too hot to have anything other than salad. So yeah, when I was away, I got a few packages through. I got this yesterday from Super Dry, which I absolutely love. It's like a midi, just like strappy dress. Don't forget you can use my code if you are shopping on Super Dry. It's Kate H10, which gets you ten percent off your order. Just slip that in quickly, just in case you guys do like Super Dry. Um, and I got a pair of trainers from there, which I will show you. And then I got some other bits to unbox, uh, which arrived while I was out. So I'm going to make myself some lunch. I'm absolutely ravenous. Excuse the apron. <laughs> I'm just cooking peanut roast chicken, so I didn't want fat splashed. Oh, hanging off my neck all over my new dress. The postman has just arrived again. It's been busy house here today. <laughs> I ordered these at the start of the week and they're from a company called Rowan and Wren. They are Paul's Father's Day present from the dogs. So it's just arrived. I thought I would treat him. It's come with a little card. I didn't order a card. Sorry if you can hear the oven in the background. It's on like full ball. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. It's the nicest website ever. I will link it down below. I did pay for these myself, but look at the little postcard. So created as part of our campaign to support small British artists and illustrators, our postcards change with the seasons. With each new painting, you'll enjoy an artist's impression of an aspect to our current collection, be it the flowers we've grown, the products we've designed, or a scene from one of our photo shoots. So nice. Recycled, recyclable, and reusable, we do hope that you enjoy collecting them as the seasons go by. So nice. It looked nice framed as well, that. But yeah, I didn't buy that. I bought all these from the dogs. I wanted to find a way of attaching these to the dogs for them to carry in to him on Father's Day morning. But they're quite heavy. I don't think they're going to be able to carry them in. So it comes in recycled cardboard and it's just got the R and W label. Now I'm going to open them quickly because it's glasses I've ordered. And I want to make sure... Oh no, it's all in. All wrapped nicely and i won't be able to get them back like that but anyway i'll pop a picture on the screen of what i ordered um they're two beer glasses pint glasses ah uh, pint glasses are disgusting and i want to throw them away so that was one of the reasons <laughs> i bought in those but um yeah they're really really nice and they've got they've got these they've got like a nipped in waist on the glass and they look so nice and then they've also got it's like the shape of a wine glass with the stem but it's an actual beer glass. So if you're after some beer glasses, definitely check them out. I've got some lovely bits on there. I've still got an hour left on the chicken. So I'm gonna have a tidy up in here and then I'll show you what else came in the post and get out of this apron because I am cooking hot. Oh God, I'm such an old lady. I can't sit on the floor with my legs bent anymore. <laughs> 
Oh, how times have changed. So I've got about half an hour left on my chicken, so I thought I would come and sit and do a little blogger mail haul. I haven't done one of these for ages, but quite a bit has turned up recently. So um, yeah, I thought I'd just chat you through it. Like I said earlier, this dress is from Superdry. I got this yesterday and I'm absolutely in love with it. If you've never tried any clothes from Superdry before, I recommend their dresses because I've had a few from them um, this sort of like spring going into summer and they are such a good quality. I can't remember what this one's called, but I'll pop a picture up of it on the screen. It's so comfortable and it's just perfect for those days where you're just doing anything really, floating around the garden, nipping out to the shops. You can wear it with anything. You could probably dress it up with a pair of heels as well, I think. Um, it's really nice. It's just this lovely lightweight cotton. I don't want to flash you too much, but and it's got these like little bubbles on it. I wore it to the hairdressers today and I usually get really hot in the hairdressers and it just kept me so nice and cool. So I love this and I love the colour. Pretty sure they've got another colour in it. Can't remember off the top of my head, but if they if they have, I will be buying it. And like I said, you can use my discount code as well if you are shopping, not just on this dress, but on anything on Super Dry. So yeah, got this and then also a new pair of trainers. I am in love with these. They are just, I've got three pairs now got some white ones I've got these oh, that are just here uh, my navy blue and white are you having a laugh Betty <laughs> navy blue and white vegan ones which I've worn to death I reach for these when I just want like an outfit jazzing up a bit love those and then in the same style as those but just but they're slightly different they're a little bit more cushioned and um, I picked these up how gorgeous are these they're like a beige stone sort of colour with like this grey tab on the back and I'd say like an off-white. They're going to look so nice with this dress and pretty much everything I own. Jeans, shorts, dresses, skirts. I just love these so much. I'm so happy with them. Get my normal footwear size, um, which is a size 5 and they fit like a dream. If you're in, bet if you're in between sizes, I would say go up. They're also vegan. I think the majority of their trainers now are. Um, they've got the little vegan tag on. And it says, at Super Dry, we are on a journey of sustainability and environmental care, aiming to use materials that respect the welfare of animals and that minimize our impact on the planet. Our latest in innovative footwear is made from certified recycled high-grade PU using water-based glues and printing methods. So. I've worked with them for just coming up to a year I think and one thing they have always put out there is their journey to sustainability so they are doing wonders. If you didn't know I am a super dry ambassador so I do get a gift card each month to choose a few pieces and the um, like brief this month is logos, they really want to embrace their logos. Now I'm going to come clean and be completely honest with you, I don't like a logo. For quite some years, Superdry have been heavy on their logos. Um, I will admit, as a teenager, like early 20, going into early 20s, I wouldn't shop there just because everything was so heavily logoed. But they have very much so turned it down. And there is a lot on there now that you can get without a logo. However, because this was like the brief of what we've got to do this month, I had to choose something that had the logo on. But I thought this next piece was a really subtle way of adding the logo in without it being like really in your face. And it's this gorgeous like acid wash green hoodie. I can't wait to wear this. It looks so cozy and I absolutely adore the color. Almost looks like it's been worn, like a vintage sort of jumper. Got the tiny little bit of branding in the middle. And then on the back, it's got quite a big logo. Who's blowing their horn? Um, but I still think because the um, st it's all stitched on, like embroidered, and it, because it matches the jumper, it doesn't jump out too much at you. I was in the market for a new hoodie. I got this in, sorry if you can hear the dog snoring. Got it in a size medium, so I cannot wait to wear that. And then just because I needed to make the balance up off my gift card, without any of it going to waste, I ordered myself a little, well, it's advertised as a pencil case. Let me just grab a cushion because my bum is killing. Um, so yeah, I got this little pencil case, which I'm not going to use this pencil case. I'm going to use it when I only need a little bit of makeup and use it as a makeup bag or like a makeup brush case. But I really like it. I think it's cool. It's like a pastel -y pink, green and blue tie-dye. 
I think it was in the sale, it was only like four pounds something. It's quite a bit of room to be fair. And if you are a student or you go to school, I don't think I've got that younger audience, but um, student or you work in an office, then they've got some really nice little pencil cases on there. They've got a nice leopard print and black one, which was, I couldn't choose between the two, but because it's summer, I thought I'd go with this one. Um, what next? So I got this through the post probably a month or so ago. And I, I completely forgot, I just sort of put it in my PR box and completely forgot about it. However, on it, I was scrolling through Instagram the other night and I saw Michelle Keegan is now an ambassador for this brand. So I thought, oh my God, I've got some of that somewhere. <laughs> Tracked it down, it was under my bed in my PR box and it's still in date, so I'm gonna start using it. I don't, know what, I don't really know why I pushed it to one side. I just kind of thought, oh, is it another gimmick? Whether this is gonna work for me, but it is vital protein. I've seen them all over Instagram for quite a while, but until, it wasn't until Michelle Keegan, because I love her, um, became an ambassador that I was like, okay, I need to try that. So basically they are collagen peptides and marine collagen. Um, not like a meal replacement, but like, Sort of like if you were taking protein after a workout, that kind of thing. So this is the collagen peptides. And it says on the back, made from one simple ingredient, our collagen peptides are neutral in flavour and are great to add in, and are great for adding to water, coffee, smoothies, recipes or more. Our peptides mix in a hot or cold liquids and can be taken any time of the day. We've got 20 grams of collagen peptides and it's meant to give you a youthful appearance with fresh and firm looking skin. So looking forward to trying this. And it, I love that it's unflavoured. I feel like when I used to take protein when I worked out quite a lot, the flavours were just disgusting. They tasted so false. Um, so yeah, I'm, it's nice to see a brand doing something that isn't flavoured. So yeah, looking forward to trying those. I'm gonna start taking them daily. I will report back if I like them. Then I had a little box through, which I wasn't really expecting to be fair. They emailed me ages ago and I hadn't had anything through the post so I was just sort of like oh they probably decided again sending it but this is from a brand called Woo Woo who I've worked with on Instagram before basically it's like a feminine wash and they specialize in kind of like wax strips aftershave cream all that kind of jazz and they sent this really cute little PR package if I can get it out I will show you it's full of this paper <laughs> I love the little basket it came in I've seen these everywhere, I want more. Yeah, they've sent a little like pamper set. So in there, I've got the Woo Woo Tame It Wax Strips for your bikini line. I don't know what you, oh yeah, bikini wax strips. I don't know whether these like, you could use them under your arm or anything. Suitable for vegans, for intimate use and naturally sourced. For super smooth results with damask, rose oil and aloe vera. I'm scared of waxing, I'm not gonna lie. I've had laser hair removal in the past um, and I found that quite painful as well. It was alright but there were times where I was like, oh my god, why am I doing this to myself? Um, but now I've just gone back to sort of like shaving. Um, but these don't look too scary, so I'm going to try those. And they also come with little aloe vera balm wipes for soothing afterwards. So try those out if I get brave enough. So this soothing balm it says anti-chafe and post-shave with rosehip and aloe vera. Again, it's vegan for post-shave, wax or ride. Ride? Does that mean on a bike or does that mean sexually? <laughs> um, pamper your peach with this organic balm designed to soothe, firm and moisturise your most delicate skin as well as protect it from excessive friction, if you know what we mean. <laughs> right, what else we got? We've got some stickers in there. A shower cap, which I actually need. I've been using my Philip Kingsley ones when I don't need to wash my hair. And they've seen better days. And then this little bad boy, which is a loofah, which I've always wanted to try in the bath. It does feel quite rough, but I've got a feeling when you wet them, they become a little less harsh. <laughs> and then, what's the last thing? Hair removal cream. I've never got on very well with hair removal cream. Never tried this one, but I will give it a go. Easy to use in shower hair removal cream to trim the verges or go full Hollywood. <laughs> I love their branding, it's so cool. 
Um, whatever style you rock, this quick and easy to use hair removal cream will leave you as smooth as a dolphin's nose. Suitable for bikini line, undercarriage and bum. This pain free alternative to waxing will give you silky smooth results all in the privacy of your own bathroom. So yeah, really cool and I'm going to reuse this in my office because I love this basket. So that's a really nice little unexpected PR package. And then finally we've got a little parcel from a new brand that I'm working with and they're called Love Leggings. You might have seen them all over Instagram, I know I have. And when they got in touch, I thought, yes, definitely, I would like to try something from you. Really nice packaging. It just makes all the difference when a brand goes to the effort of packaging something nicely. I don't want to rip it. I haven't opened this yet, so I can't remember what I chose. I think it was a pair of jeans. Hey, Kate Louise, I hope you love these items. Please let us know how you get on. Their packaging is 100% compostable as well, which is an absolute winner love to see the brands doing their bit for the environment these days they feel so nice oh my god they're so silky they're really good as well because i noticed when i was ordering them they do petite tall um there were some other ranges they did i don't know whether it says anywhere i will link these down below so you can have a look at their website but they carry tons of different things like from leggings to jeans um i got them in a 10 they look quite snug but i find leggings stretch and end up going baggy so i'm excited to see how these sort of fare and if they last fabric is nice and thick it's got a big fat like deep waistline and they're just a standard pair of leggings i think i got the short they feel really nice and they're extra stretchy i love those and then i think i picked yeah i did a pair of jeans oh these feel nice they've got quite a lot of stretch in them which is nice so I just went for their sort of like true denim mum jean. Again, I got them in a 10, praying that they fit. They've got like an acidy wash front and then just go down into sort of like a slim leg. They don't look massively baggy like a mum jean normally is. Maybe I should have got the 12, but I will try them. Quality seems lovely just looking at them. So thank you to Love Leggings for those. I will be styling them on my Instagram very soon. You're making a lot of sound, you dogs. That's my little PR haul. I'm gonna tidy this all up, hang it on the rail, make a list of things I need to do, and go and tend to the chicken. 36 seconds left on it. So, that's my afternoon. And then I might go and do a little bit of pottering in the garden. Um, I wait for it to cool down a little bit because it's still very warm. So I might wait till after tea to do that. But I wanna pick some flowers for the house. I need to do my watering, which usually takes a good hour. And um, we'll probably take the dogs out. So any discount codes I find for these brands, I will pop in the description box as well. Uh, like I said, I've got the super dry one, which is Kate H10, but I'm not sure. Oh, I'm not sure without checking my emails if I've got discount codes for the other brands. So I will check. And if there is anything, I will pop it below. So make sure you check that out.
we've made up four little bud vases left a massive mess on the table <laughs> so this one is just um my rose which is called the lark ascending by david austin whoops they're quite short though so i haven't really got a proper vase to sit it on i love these so much and then the others are just like a mix of everything in the garden so we've got cosmos lavender sweet peas um bunny tails wild geranium uh love in a mist and the seed heads because i love how they look in an arrangement really really nice i don't know what this is called um if anybody knows let me know it's got like a silvery stem mum gave it me but i can't remember for the life of me what it is and then this is just rocket which has gone to seed but i love the flower of it so pretty um, and then this one is pretty much the same but i've got a um mine's gone blank some more geranium some sweet peas and then a tiny little lemon daisy which i don't know the actual term for but love those and then this one again pretty much the same cosmos i think this is picotty it's called more wild geranium more wild daisies a few wild buttercups but they're coming to an end now i picked these the other night so they're not looking their best um napita i think this is well cat mint i think napita's its proper name and yeah oh scabious is what these were uh yeah i love them and then i just dot them either on the table when we're having dinner or scatter them around the house god these smell amazing i've just found another little bud vase which i'm going to put three rose heads in well two rose heads and a bud oh my god if you buy one rose from david austin make it this one because it just smells incredible this one and queen of sweden is just so so nice i'm gonna put it by beethoven <laughs> by the telly and hope the dogs don't knock it over are you gonna try not to knock that over we need to put some nose butter on your nose don't we what have you got all over you lad you're falling apart are you ready for your tea yeah do you want your biscuits can you speak for your biscuits <coughs> good boy <laughs> just come to edit this video and i've realized there's no ending <laughs> i can't remember where i left off um i think i was flower arranging or something in the garden so now chucking it down with rain so typical british summertime I sat inside editing my videos because it's miserable outside so i'm gonna end it here but otherwise this video is just going to be so so long um, thank you so much guys for watching it i'm sorry if it was all over the place but i hope you enjoyed it nonetheless thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye